In the back streets of this Malawian village, the room this young girl lives in, a sex worker pushed into it by the need to feed her family. This in a country that has one of the highest HIV rates in the world. Are you okay? Yet she has no means of protecting herself. They agree that they must use condoms? And when they don't agree, what do you do? How do you protect yourself from pregnancy or HIV? What pills? Pregnancy or HIV? Right, so no, nothing, no protection from HIV. Mm. Okay. And this is repeated in so many countries across the world. The complexity of the virus, its ability to change, has made it so far impossible to develop a vaccine which would produce antibodies against HIV, giving long-term protection. But now there is a new drug, lenacapavir. Two 1.5 milliliter subcutaneous injections are required to complete the dose. Developed by the pharmaceutical company Gilead, which is being described as close to a vaccine as we have ever come. We're talking worldwide, 60 million people taking this drug to really drive down HIV infection rates. But what would that be like? Imagine a world where girls can grow up in, in Africa and not get HIV. Some of these, in some of these countries, by the time a woman's 24, she's got a 20% chance of being HIV infected, even higher in some countries. Being able to shut that down is, a, is an amazing opportunity. The trial results made headlines. 5,338 women in South Africa and Uganda at high risk of HIV infection were enrolled. None of the 2,134 women who took lenacapavir was infected. An incredibly effective prevention. But it is expensive. Gilead currently charges 40,000 American dollars for the twice yearly injection way beyond the means of the countries most impacted by this virus. Today at the World AIDS Conference in Munich, however, Dr. Hill presented evidence to show that this drug could be manufactured for $40 a year. How do you calculate that? We've looked at the, at the chemical structure of the drug. We've looked at what it's made of. We've spoken to the large generic companies who've told us they could make it for this price. We've looked at all the raw ingredients, we've seen where they're being made, and we've seen how the drug could be put together. The latest figures from 2022 show that globally there were 1.3 million new HIV infections, 46% of which were among women and girls. And in the same year, 630,000 people died from AIDS-related illnesses. In Johannesburg in South Africa, which took part in the trial, around 14% of young women are infected with HIV every year. We still have a raging HIV epidemic. We've made gains in prevention, but we still need, in, uh, we need new technologies. The current prevention technologies have hit their ceiling, and particularly amongst young women, you know, that, and particularly in this kind of 18 to 32-year-old age group and then in key populations, among sex workers, among gay men, among drug users. That's where we need these, these new drugs. Pharmaceutical companies have form. In the early 2000s, there were mass protests when 39 drug manufacturers threatened to take the South African government to court over a law that would allow it to import and manufacture cheaper generic HIV drugs. They only dropped the lawsuit at the very last minute. We are going to be marching on the streets for this drug. This is how strongly we feel. This is not something we can let lie. You know, there are small incremental changes when it comes to, to medication, to drugs. This thing is too, too big a change for us to let lie.
Gilead, which had sales of $27 billion last year, have said they will set up an access program so that people in high incidence, low income countries could be given a low cost version of Lena Kapavir. But Channel 4 News has learned that the head of UNAIDS has held a meeting with Gilead and has said their proposal is inadequate. This is a matter of life and death for many people. But to have this life-changing prevention tool in the hands of people in rich countries who can afford, but not in the hands of poor women who need it, poor girls, this is just, it's mind-boggling. We need to get the price down. In a statement, Gilead said, To reach as many individuals who need or want pre-exposure prophylaxis as quickly as possible, we are pursuing a two-pronged access strategy, ensuring dedicated Gilead supply in the countries where the need is greatest until voluntary licensing partners are able to supply high-quality, low-cost versions of Lena Kapavir, and we are moving with urgency to negotiate these contracts. As someone living with HIV, memory welcomed a drug that could change the face of this pandemic. If I had had this drug, my life would probably be very different now. Even though I'm quite happy the way I am now, everything is under control. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, just being uh, feeling empowered that you know you are looking after your own health at any age, or especially with the young girls, because they are powerless. You know, the economy situation in the in their countries is you know is dire, and some people are just looking for survival. News of this drug won't have reached this village in Malawi yet, and even if it had. Without the cost of it coming down, it would just give false hope to a young woman at the highest risk of this virus.